This is episode one of my whole house massive decluttering. We're not gonna do that all in one day. That's, that's unrealistic. We're just gonna do this one zone. Just one, this one little area in the zone. My name's Chastine. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm documenting my journey to become a cleaner, more organized, better homemaker. Better person overall. So I decided what I need to do is clean my entire apartment because I'm not overly ambitious in the least. On this journey, I am kind of loosely following the fly lady method. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to break my apartment up into zones and I'm going to work my way around all of them cleaning them and organizing them. So we're gonna start at the beginning, the literal beginning. The entryway, my mudroom, my mudroom, my entryway, place, hotspot. This is where a lot of clutter obviously amasses. We're going to declutter all of this and then we're gonna make sure that everything that stays has a home because the key to cleaning up is making sure that when you're done with an object, you can put it back and it has a place to go. So that's the goal is to make sure everything that's here lives here and hopefully that will help things from getting too cluttered in the future that might be unrealistic expectations but i'm going to give it a go she recommends getting three boxes i have three baskets receptacles i uh, it, it it's it's all the same one for put away throw away and give away okay we need a trash bag the setup seems like it's taking a lot longer than the, the oh, we haven't started the declutter yet That's really hard for me. I'm kind of a hoarder, so I don't know how much is actually going to get thrown away, but we'll sort. All right, let's get started. Gonna start with the hats. All right, these are going to get thrown down here to be sorted into one of the three baskets. So I'm going to take this and carefully whoop. So dramatic. feel like you're just making more of a mess. Okay, hats are gone. Now I'm already at my first dilemma. Do I clean what I have decluttered or do I finish decluttering everything and then clean? I guess finish decluttering everything. At least I should probably take everything off the shelf piece before I clean the shelf piece, right? That makes sense. Doesn't... Problem number two. A lot of this stuff is going to stay put or come back. So does that go on the put away pile? I was under the impression the put away pile is for stuff that uh, is going back in the rest of the house. So you like take it, you take the basket, and you go put it away. Is that what you guys understood it as? That's how I understood it. Maybe I'm wrong. New plan. I need a fourth basket. It's just going to be an area. And that's going to go right over here in the uh, stay put chair. My husband's jacket. This is staying here. My raincoat. You know what? Actually, I think this can get put away. My active fleece. Ah, okay. Now we're at the embarrassing stuff. A lot of this stuff has been here for years, like pre-pandemic. This is my school ID. I haven't used this to get back into the building since like 2020. So I guess a lot of people would, would throw this away, but I mean, I don't know. I'm an obsessive hoarder. What if I want to make a scrapbook? I do scrapbook. I might want this, so I'm going to put this and put away. Keep six. It was like my only career job. Yeah, I guess that's the Marriott. I have that ID badge somewhere too. This bag. Okay, I am done with canvas bags because my cat um, is hair everywhere. This is the bag I'm currently using, but I'm gonna switch it out. So if you guys wanna see like what's in my purse, I guess stay tuned. Keys are gonna go stay here. This, the sunglasses here, this is my husband's idea. It was really smart, but 
These particular ones, they're getting caught in the band here, so I think I'm going to have to like just move them to the other hook. Yeah, that's going to work a lot better. This Carnival Cruise lanyard, we just went on a cruise. And um, yeah, this, this was not from that cruise. <laughs> we were actually looking for that. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. Put away. Am I going on another cruise? This fan. I should be using this right now. I'm getting kind of caught. Does it still work? <gasps> oh, that feels good. Can you guys hear it? Put away. I'm a little scared this is going to like catch my hair. Ah. Uh, <laughs> can you hear it? Okay, let's see. Am I going to be able to hang this up outside without a stool? No. Let me get a stool. Procured the stool. Mom gave me that. I'm going to be moving into that later. This thing, this is my folding board. You can see it's being held together with a piece of duct tape. It's uh, on its last limb there. Tucker's carrying case. Looks like a little rocket ship. Jay has a nice story about that. Maybe he'll show you Tucker in here sometime. This stays out here. So I have three laundry baskets out here. None of them designated for laundry. Where do I, where do I put the laundry? <laughs> Gym bag. Hold me accountable. I'm going to start using this. I'm proud to say this wasn't here pre-pandemic. I actually was going to the gym almost every day. Well, maybe four or five days a week, but really close to almost every day, starting from like January until my first vacation, probably the beginning of March. And then, then I took another vacation and I got sick. And uh, much like my cleaning, I haven't gone back to the gym since then so I need to get back to the gym so this is staying out here going back to the gym this just went to the beach with me um and died it served its purpose I got this in college so like uh, 10 years ago 15 uh. me and my roommate at the time were on the beach and we were like super skeptical the lady came up and was like hi do you guys want a free bag and we're like what's the catch and she's like there's no catch and we're like there's got to be a catch nothing's free and she's like no it's just advertising it's just free. Or like, <laughs> it was like really awkward. But she gave it to us, and I've been using it as a beach bag ever since. Until just now, it held up for like a free bag. It held up a good 15 years. So thanks 95SX for being my free beach bag for so long. Thank you for your service. You served a very good purpose in my life, making my vacations easy. Being a beach bag that I didn't have to care too much about because you were free. Thus, making me care about you all the more. You served it well, and now, even though you're broken, it's with a tear that I say goodbye. Thank you. Throw away! massive decluttering later when I get to the closet so for now these shoes are pretty much just they might get straightened up a little bit but I'm not really gonna declutter them mom gave me these um, they're not working for me so I'm gonna give them back to her see if she wants them back or if they're gonna get donated The irony of dust on your cleaning tools. Can you see that? Uh -huh. That's disgusting. All right, about this time, I'm definitely starting to feel like it's messier <clears throat> than it was. 
Well, if you ignore all of this clutter, that part's decluttered. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't stay decluttered long. So apart from the cat, I'm going to have to take a break and do something about my nails because I got these done back like before the cruise. So like over a month ago now, um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like coming off. I thought they could handle it through this video. Yeah, turns out not. So I'm going to have to pause my cleaning. Not pretty at all, but much more functional. Look how dusty. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how I'm going to clean the bench. Look at the dust. up on that. Huh? Cat toy. What else? Dust. Dust. I mean, it's been years, so actually could be worse. How do I fix that? Yes, it's working. We're gonna go heavy duty. You can see this on camera, but watch what this wipe does to this dust. Oh.
Look how dirty this is. Uh. Oh, gross. attention to detail. Uh, it's been on there since we got it years ago. All right, so I am going to put some shoes away. I'm not going to do a huge decluttering, but my put away basket's pretty much full. So since my throwaway basket has one thing in it. I'm just going to put this in the regular trash and we're going to annex this basket as the second part of our put away basket. Put away basket part two. I inherited it from my mother. It's, it's, it's a problem. It scares people. I have to like try to warn him when I drive, but I can't say anything. Like if he's driving, because I don't want to startle him, so I'll like just start flapping and it's, it's a problem.
done now just imagine Jay's bag and lunchbox and stuff there okay what do we think that took forever seriously that took like the whole day and it kind of look back on film it kind of looks like I didn't do anything you know what at the end of the day it is worth it because I feel so much better about it and I decluttered something I decluttered the beginning of my house so I hope you guys got some good work done too. And if not, you know what? There's always tomorrow. Just remember, if you're struggling, you're not alone. Have a good night, guys. Love you.